Okay, we're back. I'm Tina Trenner. This is Anthony Tony Barney and Mary Harrison. Okay, we are going to talk about the United Nations. Now, there is a thing called Agenda 21. You aware of Agenda 21? I'll bet you're not. I'll bet that you've never heard of Agenda 21. Well, all you have to do is go in there to your little computer and plug it in, and you're just going to find out all sorts of things that you don't want to know. Well, you need to know because according to the uh, United Nations, for many, many years now, they have been deciding how we will develop our land. I used to live down in Southern California, down near Indio, and we lived right at the end of the world. I mean, it was like the moonscape, uh, and it was, it was just out in the middle of nowhere. And um, the county, and that was back in the 70s, the county had a master plan for every single square inch of sand and rock that was out there. And at the time I thought, now isn't that weird? Why would they be zoning out there in the middle of nowhere right on top of the San Andreas Fault? But they were. Well, I had my question that I asked years ago answered uh, when I found out about Agenda 21 and I, and I loaded, downloaded it and I read it. And basically the United Nations, if they had their way and they just could wiggle their nose and have every one of their dirty little dreams come true, they would just basically put us off of our land. Now, that's because we don't know what we're doing, but they do. They know how to take care of it much better than us. And right now, we are losing 10 million new acres for a park, another national park, taking rancher's land, taking private land, and turning it into another park. So uh, Agenda 21 is something you really need to look up and you really need to read if you're a property owner. Uh, if you've noticed, the United States government through Freddie and Fannie have uh, something like 96% of the loans and, and the mortgages in this, uh, in this country right now. So it looks like they've kind of got their little fingers right there in it. And the more you find out how this administration, and administrations before, but this one is like the final nail in our coffin, how they work with the United Nations and how they are ceding our, our sovereignty bit by bit, piece by piece. We're being, being nibbled to death by ducks. Um, criminal ducks, <laughs> but ducks not, nonetheless. Um, Tony, we were talking about uh, property and, and um, ownership. Chime in a little on that. Well, the concerns I have, obviously, are, are in some of, well, one, one of the more recent decisions in this area is the Kilo versus City of New London. And uh, essentially, in that case, uh, what the court determined is if the government can collect more taxes uh, by uh, through, through levying on a private owner as opposed to the owner that exists, they can declare it a public use and they can take the property. Uh, I've had trouble with that decision because essentially what it's saying is if the government deems a certain piece of property of greater worth to them from a tax perspective, they can de declare it a public use and take it from you and uh, essentially uh, basically have it be sold whether to, you want to leave or not to the the person that would uh, create a bigger tax base for the government and that, that's my concern are from, you familiar with agenda 21 at all no but it seems to me that when some of these national parks were put together and you're saying parks and I don't know where this land is that you're referring to Montana Utah and where there's one other state okay but in Sequoia it seems to me that there are pockets of still privately owned property in the middle of the park or on the the outskirts of the park just on the fringe that is still privately owned because they had it before it was deemed a national park. Well when the UN's done with them they're gonna get the boot. I mean this is like a whole plan I've got it all here we'll talk about it some more we're running out of time we will talk about this a little bit more when we come back because I think the thing that the founders uh, their, the American dream is based on is land ownership, whether it's a lot in you know downtown or whether it's a 30,000 acre ranch. Land ownership, property ownership, the ownership of your home is what is American. And this is what they want to take away. We'll be right back.